Hey, what's up guys? This is KD Cloudy and here is the fake Nexus ROM for the Nexus 5 which supposedly brings all of the Google Pixel's features onto your phone. But is it legit? Let's find out. Okay, first things first, the installation process was absolutely a nightmare. I don't know, but for me, it wasn't as easy as flashing a zip through the recovery. Well, some of my friends have had luck with that, but I didn't. It's similar to a stock update package, so it has a different method. Either way, I resorted to flash fire, which does need your phone to be rooted, and it basically worked. But the thing is that your data partition will be cleared in this process, so you better make a backup. Also, the G apps are integrated, which is a good thing, so you don't need to worry about it. Now let's take a look into the ROM itself. The number of features it brings and the fact that it's quite stable is really impressive. It brings you, I say, 95% of the new Pixels features and I say 95% because just a little bit of things were missing which included the Google Assistant, the Pixel navigation bars and also the home button animation. But either way, it wasn't a big deal for me but I and I got them manually through some hacks. Either way, coming to the features it actually has, there are quite a lot. Starting, it has the Pixel Launcher in all its glory along with the round icons. I was literally craving for these and I absolutely love them. All the stock Google apps and a little bit of third party apps have the round icons which look pretty slick in my opinion and you have the fully pixel blue accented device which includes the brightness slider and also the complete settings app which are blue now instead of a shade of green and inside the settings app you get to see the highlight features of pixel first is the moves and gestures but since it's older hardware i think there's only one over here and secondly you get the managed storage feature which which backs up your data into the cloud when you're running out of storage and since it's based on android 7.1 it gives you those app shortcuts as well when you long press over an app icon mm -hmm. and also there's a slight tweak to the wallpaper app which gives you these nice dynamic live wallpapers kind of thing which change color according to your time and they're not actually mm -hmm. live wallpapers but yeah they uh, they have some sort of motion in them and it doesn't end over there it comes with the pixel white boot animation which is pretty slick and past that you get a set of wizard which i swear is straight out of the pixel so yeah, I'm pretty confident to say that this ROM can give you 95% of pixel features as it did for me. But how's the performance and the battery life? Are there any bugs? Well, performance was just fine. I had strange glitches and stutters when I opened too many things at once, but they were occasional. RAM management I don't think was that great as well and and it was performing really nicely but as I started to load it up with apps and files, it started to struggle with the performance. I'd say that it was pretty inconsistent regarding the performance department. Battery life was just fine, it was not anything extraordinary or something really bad, it was just fine. Now coming to the bugs, there are some but not much. For some reason I think the brightness is unusually higher than it's supposed to be. I don't know if this is a bug or something but maybe it's just me. And there's this bug which shows slowly charging on the lock screen but it actually isn't. I don't know what is happening. I mean all Nougat ROMs on the Nexus 5 are having this problem. I, I don't know why it's actually happening. But either way lastly this one is a pretty major one. There's a weird jittery effect in all the videos you take in all resolution and you know if you take a lot of videos with your phone i don't think you'd like this at all so yeah those were the bugs and i don't think this would be a big deal for some people but now answering the final question should you flash it and is it fit for daily use well i'd say pretty much yes well it's definitely a cool rom with all its bells and whistles but considering the fact that the installation process is really difficult in some cases, it makes me really skeptical if this ROM is worth the hassle. My overall experience with this ROM has been pretty sweet and I do recommend to install it if you are craving for the pixel features. But if you want something like better battery life, this ROM is not probably the first choice for you. I'd suggest changing your kernel and stick to stock or something if you want sort of a more optimized and better experiences. But in the time I used this ROM on my phone. I'd say it delivered a pretty sweet pixel experience. And that's pretty much it. That wraps up the video. 
hope you enjoyed it like this video if you liked it subscribe for more thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one cheers